Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here to do a bit of a play um, with the Rachel style clusters or doing the clusters the Rachel um, way and see how I get on with that. I thought it was just such a clever idea. Um, <laughs> I have to say I'm not sure whether I will find that a better way for me personally to do it or not but I'm going to have a play because I loved the idea of it. Um, but just before I get on to that I just want to quickly share some beautiful happy mail that I got. So I got these gorgeous napkins um, and this paperclip dispenser, which I have not used yet. Um, I need to kind of Google and see how to use this. It's um, for help with binding when you bind a journal. So again, I, you know, I need to familiarise myself with actually how, how to use it first. But it looks awesome and um, yeah, hopefully it's going to be a really you know handy tool to have so I will keep you posted once I've found out how to actually use this but yes and she googled me uh sent me also these beautiful napkins which she had wrapped the whole thing in these napkins so I've already used these for a couple of things myself um the giveaway prizes I used these napkins and wrapped them in them because I just love them and her parcel then just looks so pretty so thank you so much Alana sorry but I am terrible with pronunciation so I do apologize if I'm pronouncing your name wrong um so thank you so much I absolutely love the napkins and I'm sure that I will love this as well once I come to learn how to use it and I also was gifted this other gorgeous little package from Mary Peterson Mary has got a shop on Etsy called three insistent dogs so I will try and remember to link that below and she googled me uh googled me sent me this thing that she calls her handy helpers for glue um it's so awesome so I've poured my glue into here and if I just show you it's basically this brilliant fine tip glue so a really great for obviously you know being precise when gluing oh no I can't get it back in oh sorry guys this is the first time this has happened previously I have been really lucky and been able to just put it back in straight away but no now it's failing me oh my gosh I think I'm gonna have to start wearing glasses to actually do my videos to be honest oh no I think it's because the light is, um, you know, behind it. So it's making it a sort of blind spot. Right. Anyway, so, um, yeah, she very kindly sent me this because I obviously have so many troubles with my glue. So I will um, link her below and you can check these out. What a handy little um, thing to have. So that's my glue. And she also included in her package all these beautiful paper items that she has coffee dyed look at her intricate amazing details that she's got on these aren't they just so beautiful oh I just absolutely love everything here so no doubt and I love obviously the crinkle um no doubt I will be hoarding all of these lovely items as well but and I've never um coffee dyed any of these cd cases in fact i've never actually used any in my journals so i will have fun with those although like i say i will probably hoard all of this um rather than use it because i just think it's all so lovely and then also included were all these other gorgeous paper items so tags and what have you teeny tags which are just so cute and they've even got the little holes ready and again they've just got the most intricate patterns and detail in them so just absolutely gorgeous gorgeous things so yeah thank you so much Mary I really really love all of this and I just suspect I will be hoarding all of these things I mean she's even got the patterns on here oh both sides absolutely lovely aren't they and look at these tags I mean to be honest those tags are just gorgeous as they are aren't they they don't even need anything else on them they just you know stand out beautiful as they are and then these gorgeous um, 
long envelopes. I don't know really what type of envelope you would call this, but I love these shape envelopes. So yeah, absolutely lovely things. So again, really spoilt again by you lovely people. So thank you so much. I really do appreciate everyone's kind support and oh, just such generous goodies. So thank you very, very much. I'm going to clear that off tidily to the side and then I will obviously put it all back in the packaging in a moment, um, you know, after the video. Okay, so the project that I thought we could do, this is just one of my printed background pages of coffee dyed paper. It's not coffee dyed. Um, I'm going to just raise my tripod slightly. Hopefully, you know, everything will be in frame. And then I've just brought along a whole bunch of scraps and pieces of paper that I've just had left over from other things. And I also then have, um, you know, other bits to use as like coppers and things like that. So hopefully we've got, you know, a ton of things here. Well, we have got a ton of things here. So we're not going to be short of anything to use. So I'm just going to get started by literally just tearing up my pieces and just popping them down. So, I mean, as I say, I haven't tried this before. I obviously saw Rachel do it and I then saw Gail um, Agostinelli do it. And I thought, wow, that just looks so clever. You know, such a good way to do it. As I say, you know, we all find different things suit us, don't we? So, <laughs> you know, it may be that this style is um, not for me, but, you know, I just wanted to give it a go because obviously it just looked so clever. So now Gail seemed to get lots and lots of clusters on hers, I have to say. So again, this is just going to highlight how I just, <laughs> just use such big things. I'm not a dainty, dainty crafter at all. So um, yeah, perhaps I'll have a slightly smaller one. You see, now I haven't really got enough room down there to put another one. Perhaps I'll do a couple. Or perhaps I'd be better off doing them that way round. Or perhaps that might be better. You know, I'm just sort of thinking when I come to tear these, are these going to be fiddly to tear out? But... I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? You know, as so long as I can tear them. So I might as well just use up my entire sheet of sheet music here. So like that. It's quite nice that way up, perhaps. Well, let's just go for it and let's just glue these down going to well actually I uh, you see already I find myself not wanting to waste my my glue you know in this new thing because I think oh perhaps I should keep this for the more precise you know precision pieces so perhaps that's what I will do apart from anything else otherwise I'm going to be here for a long time reattaching it Right, so I'm going to go actually right up to the edge, I think, um, because that way I will have more paper to use. So we just, I should have done that the other way, look. You see already, I'm now going down that whole overthinking, which was the precise thing that I didn't really want to be doing. Okay, and then I'm going to do this one. And then this one here. Now, I've not gone too close to the edges, if you can see that, because, um, you know, I like the clusters a little bit free, I guess would be the description. I don't want them, like, solidly stuck down, but, like, with no movement, because... That just feels really, um, oh, what's the word? 
well, just a bit sort of rigid, I suppose. So I've got some book page here. So, I mean, these are sort of my base starter pieces, I suppose. I'm just like chucking things all over the place now. Okay, and then obviously not much room here, but we'll just pop a little piece on there, I think. So just do that there. Okay, I should go back really and count up how many Rachel and um, Gail managed to get on a page. I feel like mine are enormous, but. It's hard to say because until they're torn out, you know, you can't really tell how how big they are. So I'm just going to tear out some pieces here to then overlay on top. really what I should do is um, tear all of these down and place them roughly where I'm going to be having them I think and then glue them you know like we do in the mass making sort of more like an assembly line so I think I will do that oops that's a, a skinny piece isn't it oh well never mind it's fine so Waste not, want not. Let's just use this little tiny piece as well. So perhaps we could even have that on there as well. I don't know. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Perhaps we'll have it on this one because that's quite a small piece there. So again, let me just grab some more scraps. We don't want them all looking the same, obviously. So. Try and mix them up with a couple of different papers. I mean, I like my torn edges. Um, again, you know, Rachel and Gail, I think, were using their tear ruler, but you know, go with what suits you. We all have, you know, our different methods, don't we? So, I shall just, just use my torn pieces. So just tear down that edge. Okay, pop that on. That one maybe? Yeah, maybe that one. So that's those. I've just got some more of these papers, which I know are similar colours, but you know, because I'm trying to use up obviously scraps. you tend to have scraps from sort of one project really don't you so well not one project obviously I've got scraps from multiple projects but am I like too low now because I just suddenly caught a glimpse of my hands and they looked enormous in the screen which is that a bit off-putting it is tricky to get the um, camera just right so there we go like that. I'll just tear this one, get rid of that stem. I don't really want that in there in case I don't have anything green on there. You know, I feel like I'd be tied to green. Now I feel like I'm probably tied to pink, but never mind. Right, let's move those out of the way. I've got a little bit more of that scrapbook paper that we'd used in a mass making. So again, let's just pop a bit of that on there. I mean, this has been coffee dyed, so it's a bit creased up. 
it's been in my stash it's coffee dyed and been in my stash for like the longest time so um yeah that's why it's looking so crumpled it's been just floating around like forever just got a tiny piece here which this might just be too ridiculously small but it might be okay so leave that on there that might be better that way round I don't know about this piece here but well let's just try it like that okay so we're going to just glue these pieces down Oh, I must have stuck that one down already. I thought, well, that's strange. That one doesn't want to come up. I think that was the one that I had stuck. You know, when we first were doing it and I, before I decided to do assembly line pieces. Okay. Pop that on there. This one here. That one down. And then this one. Okie dokie. Right. Okay. So that's my kind of base layers. So I feel like they had quite a few layers on theirs, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether I want many more layers to be honest so um, you know I might just go for them with the amount that's on there to be honest Let's have a look. so I've got some pretty big pieces here from my glue book pieces so let's just take one or two of those This clock out and these are from the glue book favorites one set one I've currently got three sets on there Oh, it looks a really nice day outside. It's very sunny and nice looking. Obviously, I haven't been out, but um, yeah, it's looking really nice at the moment. So, okie dokie. And just cut along there. Okay, so this is just printed on copy paper, these pieces, which, you know, although is quite then small, uh, small, thin, obviously these clusters, they're quite layered up already. So, you know, the copy paper might be just sort of ideal really, rather than thickening the pieces up even more. So just cut this flower out. Okie dokie. I don't know whether I will use this flower but I just thought whilst I was there I would just cut it out anyway it's quite nice on there to be honest right so that's those now what else am I going to use as my little topper pieces just having a look through what I've got here so I've got some coffee dyed pieces so I'll just trim that up a bit more that 
them. And although that looks a bit strange there, you know, because this is not coffee dyed, obviously by the time that I ink it all up, it will hopefully, you know, tie it all together and work really fine together. So I've got those pieces. Now I've got a little pouch here full of, you know, a whole assortment of things so that I just keep for, you know, taking, taking downstairs and upstairs as I go down and up, if you see what I mean. So I just see what I've got in here that I can just use. So I've got this lady. She might be quite nice somewhere. Maybe even on there. Okay. Got these orange flowers. Again, I'm kind of thinking I might cut these down. Maybe I'll have that one there or there. Oops. Got a photo. Let's just cut him out. Okay, it's an oval, so similar problems to the circles. Not my favourite shapes to cut out. Okay. Mm. Well, I mean, it's not perfect, but it will do. It's it's okay. Pop him on there, I think. Let's um, tip a few more out. Let's see what else we've got here. Oops. Got those ones that need cutting still. Got... Maybe that's quite nice on there. Maybe that. Got a little ticket there. That might be quite nice up on here. Nope. Let's not have that clock there. Or actually, maybe the black. Maybe the black is more striking, I think. So, yeah, something like that, I'm thinking. So at this point, now I've lost track a bit of um, what Gail and Rachel did, whether they added lace and, you know, things like that at this point, or whether they, I'm not too sure, I have to confess. Um, I would have to go back and re-watch the videos. Because I don't know about you guys, but you just find there's so many videos to watch, and, you know, I've watched so many, and then it you know, I can't remember who I've seen do what or what way round people have done things. And I mean, again, we all do things then, you know, with our own take on it, don't we? So, you know, it might be that they did do something in a certain way, but, you know, we'll just kind of do it in a different, a different way. So I think we'll have it like that. Okay, so I'm wondering at this point, before I glue the doily down, I think, to just ink up those. I mean, I might not have doily on everything. So I'm just going to ink this up a little bit. And then we'll pop that down like that, I think. I'm just going to ink this ticket piece up as well. That's quite nice, isn't it? I'll just glue that ticket on. And just glue that like that. Okie dokie. 
Okay, so then this one, I have to be a bit careful because I'm going to hit into that one above, I think. So I'll move her down a bit and just glue her on. I will probably just ink this one afterwards, I think. It was only because of the doily that I thought I'll ink it first. So I'll pop her like that and then let's use my precision glue to glue this rose down. I mean, that is a precision tip if ever I saw one, to be honest. Oops. Oh, come on. Yep, I'm definitely going to have to start wearing my glasses to be able to actually fit this back. down there okay and then this one here I'm wondering whether I need to cut that frame down so what I'm going to do is just cut it down a bit and again you know I mean nobody really knows what that frame looked like in the first place so we can just cut it down and to, you know to anyone just looking for the first time it would hopefully just look like that's a bit how that frame was So, yeah, I'm wondering if that needs to be a doily. Okay, so again, I'm just going to ink this one because if I'm putting the doily down, you know, not that I mind inking the doily, to be honest, but I will just... Um, you know, it might be just better to have inked it a bit first. So, there we go. And because obviously this is going to be underneath this piece, it doesn't matter if I glue this with my normal glue because if it discolours that doily, it doesn't matter, it's underneath the piece. So, there we go. Pop that on. And then this one here. Just pop that one down. This one. Kind of thinking maybe I should swap those. No, I think. I thought perhaps that would fit better, but didn't seem to. Oh, and I haven't found anything else to put on that one, have I? Right, again, do I want some doily under there? It's quite nice, isn't it? So, again, let me just ink this up. And we'll just pop the doily down. And you know what I forgot to do? I didn't then ink this piece up before gluing it down, so what a wally. Okay. Just pop that on there. Do you know what's really strange that I have just noticed and <laughs> I don't know whether this is just me but when I have made clusters before the sort of focal point always goes off to the side if you see what I mean it would be there overhanging and I've just noticed that all of these for some reason my focal points are now in more or less the center why I've done that I have no idea but I just thought that was really interesting that um you know, <clears throat> that normally my focal point piece would be over to the edge and yet doing them this way around for some reason, you know, I have no idea why, like I say, but for some reason my focal points are now sort of more in the centre. That's really strange. 
again I shall have to revisit those other videos and see whether that happened to Rachel and Gail because um, I just find that really intriguing why why that's happened why I've done it that way okay so I've got that piece there so in fact I might just pop a little postage stamp or something behind that clock I mean, we could just keep it really green Oh, perhaps that's a bit too bright, I don't know. Maybe that's a bit too bright. What do you think? Hmm. I need to have torn these off of the page before I put other things on, I think, because otherwise I'm in danger of then gluing things. So instead of like multiple clusters, I will just have a one page cluster because everything will be sort of overlapping and glued together. And that will just bring a whole new meaning, obviously, to the whole cluster thing, won't it? Because it's just then a one big cluster. <laughs> I don't know why, but for some reason, yeah, that was, um, you know, likely to happen. I, honestly, I mean, Rachel and Gail's must have been, I think, quite a bit smaller pieces than mine. But... I do always say, I mean, I just don't really do the whole delicate thing. You know, I like um, I like things that are nice and easy to handle. I don't really like tiny little things that are very fiddly. So, okay, pop that there. Well, at least those two are more to the side, look. Okay, so the only one that I'm not sure about is this one. So, I mean, I quite like that flower there, but I haven't got anything else on there so far. So let me just, again, have a bit of a rummage through my little pile of stuff here. Just to see. That's not quite right. And plus it's taking over, taking over the whole piece. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm better off with something tiny. Maybe like a dictionary. Piece. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Let's just go for that. And we'll pop that flower in. And just pop that dictionary definition down. Okay. So that looks really nice. Okay, so at this point, I think Rachel took hers and she stitched around and, um, yeah, stitched through them. Um... I'm probably not going to do that because, again, you know, my sewing machine's not sort of handy. So, let me just put my stuff away. So, I think for me, what I will do is now tear around them, distress them and finish them off with lace and things like that. So, yeah, probably that's the way to, to do it for me. So I'm just going to tear them round. Now, obviously, because I have gone with those torn edges, I want to keep in that theme. So I'm just tearing them off of the page, if you see what I mean. As I say, I'm pretty sure that Rachel and Gail, I mean, I know that they used their tear ruler for, you know, making the, the bits that went on top. I'm not too sure now. I can't think how they actually sort of separated them from this sheet I'm not sure whether they cut them or whether they tore them okay oh okay so and I guess if you've got like here where I had that piece hanging off to the side that looked really strange you can just then tidy them up and make them sort of a better shape you know at this point so I think here I'm just going to tear it more or less alongside that sheet music tear across the bottom and then hopefully have a look a bit more to that side yeah like that I think okay um, just a few more to go so this man And just tearing that round and then I'm just going to tear it down on this side so as I haven't got the white on that paper. OK, 
okay so that's that one I mean definitely this is probably a much quicker way to do the clusters I think um yeah because I mean obviously I've you know I've made a whole page full so um yeah it probably is quicker which is awesome and it's quite a fun fun way to do them actually And then, I mean, obviously, we're going to add to these and, um, you know, change them around. So if they're looking a bit plain and boring, then hopefully by the time we decorate them, they will no longer look plain and boring. So, yeah, don't be too put off at the moment. Hopefully we're going to transform them into something awesome. Is the plan. Who knows? Who knows in the reality? okay right so i mean that's all i had left of that page which is pretty cool isn't it you know because i did use the whole the whole of the page right so let's get finishing them off now so if i just lay them out as they were well not not as they were but you know lay them out so as you can see them all and we'll just take them sort of one at a time now that one one at a time and decorate them up adding some nice little bits and pieces so this one for instance I'm aware looks very stark because it's white it's you know this looks quite bright everything's looking a little bit on the bright side so I'm just going to ink around it inking around the whole thing obviously <clears throat> including obviously the sheet music so up here because I've got that green that you know bluey green paper which was obviously scrapbooking paper and it's quite plain so what I might do is just stamp like a little bit of text or something in that background just so it's not so plain so I'm just going to bring in that little scrap that was left it down all I'm doing is so that I've got something to place over that clock so hopefully I don't actually stamp onto the clock so just it just makes it look a bit more interesting because I was aware that it you know felt like it looked a bit plain to me so <clears throat> that looks a bit better now okay and then Put some lace and things on there. So again, I've just got this little scrap here. It was just floating about on the desk. So I mean, we could have it up there actually. That looks really pretty, doesn't it? Shall I ink that up a bit? I mean, it doesn't really need it. It looked pretty just in the ivory, but we'll just ink it up a bit. So I'm just going to then, in fact, I'll just apply that there. And we just want it looking scrappy and, you know, scrappy and scraggly. Scraggly? Yeah, scrappy and scraggly, let's call it. And we'll just then, of course, finish it off with a bit of bling. Just put that on there. whoops that's hot okay so there's that one let's take this one because again this one has quite a stark sort of appearance at the moment you know because again when it's just printed on the copy paper and it's not coffee dyed or anything it just looks quite white and bright so we just tone it down with the ink and then Again, let me just see what scraps I've got laying around. So I've got this one, which I have inked up a little bit here. 
So I might just pop that on. I might just do it like that. So just chop it down here and might even, you know, ink it a bit more. Like that. And then I'm just going to glue it on. So I'm going to apply the glue here. here I think on this one and just finish it with that just there and I'm actually wondering whether maybe a little Martha Stewart butterfly or something on this one so I'll just grab my little jaw there like that okay oops just move those petals up a little bit and obviously you can double layer these little cute butterflies so they punch out three so you get a couple of smaller ones as well which they are pretty tiny, I have to say, so I find them quite fiddly to work with, but just to demonstrate. I am I thought you couldn't get this punch anymore, to be honest, um, but Laura said that she had recently got one, so they obviously are still available. I've had mine for years, in fact, and I know that I've said this before, it's the only thing that I've bought a second time because my first one broke and I loved it so much. Um, that I did actually replace it, you know, because I was so gutted when it broke. So, pop that in there. Oh my gosh. Fiddly, fiddly. Okay. How pretty is that? Oh my gosh, well I say it's pretty, it's lopsided. Lopsided, but <laughs> hopefully you can kind of see that there. So we'll just then do a couple more. So we'll just ink up this one. And again, you know, we could add maybe a butterfly or something. Let's just see what we've got here. These butterflies are quite handy for things like this because they're obviously very tiny. You know, they don't swamp the piece. They're just just right for something tiny. This was just punched out of some scrapbook paper, so. And then I'm thinking on this one, maybe we could add a little word or something, so. Or we could add one of my little number tabs or something. Which, again, I would probably need the small ones. And, of course, I'm not going to have any of those here beside me. Is that a tiny one or is that a word? Oh, that is a tiny one. Okay, so I'll just chop this one down. Just ink that up. Okay. on there like that 
and I might leave that one lace free because obviously don't forget you're going to be sticking these onto something else so when you come to use them you know depending where you use them you might have lace somewhere else on that project if you see what I mean or you can add the lace when you've decided where they're going to go so you know you don't have to finish them off with lace and bling and everything else because um, you know it might be that you'll need a few more neutral ones so we'll just do this one so again just tear that piece down and then wonder whether just wonder whether to put some more flowers on but actually no um, mm -hmm. that's quite nice up there so um, it just extends it slightly because otherwise it's quite a sort of long you know more landscapey looking one so by popping this up there it just sort of makes it slightly taller which you know is quite nice isn't it sorry I'll just just fiddling around on my um with my jaw shutting my jaw so that I can kneel up a bit okay so I've got this one and I've got some green butterflies I think I'm not sure that green one looks quite right actually there now got some flowers Maybe that's a bit strange. Get that rose. Oh, I don't know now. Just don't know. Well, perhaps we'll just have that like that. So I'll just put that butterfly on there and then. Um, We'll put some lace on this one, I think. So again, I've got some more of that lovely crochet lace, which, I mean, I just really like cutting this in a straggly way, you know, sort of making it quite, you know, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but I'm sure you guys know what I'm saying. So it looks quite rustic-y. And then we can just, just have that maybe just like here just there across on it Oops, I think there is light would you believe an up and a you know a right way and a wrong way off that base sometimes it's hard to say isn't it but oh gosh burning my fingers today and then we'll just put a bit of bling on there I think Just three for that one because it's quite a small piece. Okay. Oops. Okie dokie. Now this one. So again, we'll just ink this up quite a lot. And then, again, I'm going to just do some stamping here because it's looking quite plain. And I might just do that stamping in brown. Yeah, I might do it in brown, I think. So, uh, do we want swirlies or do we want text? I might just have some swirly bits, actually. Okay. 
dokey and then let me just put my other ink pad out of the way as well and then I think we will have some other flowers on here Oh my gosh, look, I'm literally sticking to everything now with my hot glue threads, so <laughs> sorry about that. Just like, you know when things are then pinging? So they kind of come up so far and then the glue sort of snaps like elastic. It doesn't snap, sorry. It just pings back like elastic. So yeah, that's a bit what's going on there. So I'm going to just do that one like that, I think. Okie dokie. Okay, and then do we want some lace on here? I think so. Everything's better with lace, so do we want the lace there? Maybe some lace at the top, I think, on this one. So again, I am now unable to see which is the right way and the wrong way. I think that way's the right way. So let me just glue that one down there like that okay and then again just cut off a tiny bit like that and that just picks up those spots as well from the dominoes so it looks really nice there like that. Okay, so we just have three three more to go. Oh, four. Four more to go. So we're on the home stretch. So it has proved quite quick, I must say. So that's, you know, that's always a good thing, isn't it? If something's quick. So, um, right, again, I might just have like an overdose of flowers here. So let's just... On there I think okay okay and then trim this little bit of lace oh my gosh look how tiny that is now Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to have it there, I think, just to the side. So let me just pop that down. Okay. Can just finish that off like that. Whoops. Okay, that's that one. So definitely on the home stretch now. So this was where I obviously hadn't inked this piece before. So uh, I'll just ink that up now. Perhaps I didn't ink this piece up because actually nothing looks overly inked. Well, that, that book page is, so I must have inked it a bit, but maybe not, not that much. You know, I didn't obviously press that hard. I might just have this little flower to the side. And should we have a bit of lace? Yeah, this is my favourite lace at the moment. I just love it. Love it, love it. 
Now, do we like it with that flower or without? I mean, actually, it's quite nice without. So let's just pop the lace down. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. Like that. And then should we have a butterfly on this one? Got this little one. Oh my gosh. I'm so covered in those glue threads. They're literally like all over me. Let's just stick this on with the hot glue. And actually on this one, thinking we could have one of those little words that we did, you know, from the book. So let's just get one of those. Oh, that looks so pretty, doesn't it? Okay, so there's that one. And then we've got the last two. So I'm just having a look at the time. Oh, 50, 56 minutes, I think. So, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you know, haven't they proved really quickly, you know, quick to do? Because we have made a lot during that 56 minutes. Okie dokie. Again, let's just see what we're going to have here. I wonder if we should have a number there. Could have it like that. And then again, just want to have a bit of lace on there, which now I can't see where where there's some more of that other lace. So let's bring in some more, some other lace here. So I don't know whether this one's going to work, but let me just ink this up. I love the contrast of the white sometimes, but it just didn't look quite right on here. So just cut that down. And again, this is another one of those crochet ones that you can really just pull it around and, you know, ruffle it up a little bit. So I'll just do that. Well, let's just glue that down first. Like that. Oops. Okie dokie. And then if we're going to have that number tab, oops, we could have it, I guess, over the top or just in there. Perhaps we'll have it there. So again, I'm just going to hot glue that down just for speed. And it's just, you know, poking out now, sort of just where that lace is. So that's quite nice. Now, if I have one of those butterflies in, I mean, that's not really that colour, but it might look close enough. So let's just have a look. I just thought, oh, if I've got something in the colour of those flowers, it would look quite good on there. I'm not saying that that is the colour of those flowers, but it's hopefully good enough to tone a bit. So just pop that one down like that. Okay, so that's that one. Yay, we are now on the home stretch. So we are doing the final one. So we just ink around there again, like that. Right, I don't know whether we might want to have a flower. So let's just have a look. I mean, is that a little bit sort of looking like a line? But then if I put it there, we're covering up all of that sheet music, which that seems a shame, doesn't it, to cover up all of the sheet music. That one 
one's a bit big. I wonder if I've got some of the smaller ones, which again, I probably haven't. They're somewhere else. I just don't want to have to, um, you know, rummage around trying to find other things. So I'm trying to just use what I've got here so that I'm not taking up even more time. But then that sometimes obviously means that you don't quite have the things that are best. So let's just have a look. Oh, I've got some small ones here, look. It's probably that ivory type one. Okie dokie. So I think we'll just have that there. Okay, and then we just want a tiny bit of lace. So, do we want it white or do we want it coloured? Let me just cut a little piece off. And again, I'm just going to sort of pull it around a bit. I quite like it white to be honest I mean it has got the end bit just a bit discolored there from where we inked it up just now but I don't mind that so um, we'll just go for it like this I think there we go okay look in good right let me just put the butterflies back and as I say, I mean, when we come to use these, you know, it might be that obviously we'll add more things to them. But that's just basic, you know, the basics now at the moment. So, um, you know, and that's that's fine. That will save a ton of time when we come to actually use them. So what have we got? There we go. Okay, so well we didn't do too badly, we have done 10, but I mean I thought it was a genius idea, and I, um, but I struggle with clusters generally, so I wasn't quite sure whether actually they would turn out huge, because they were looking quite big on the page, I mean they are quite big, but you know, um, yeah, so thank you so much Rachel, brilliant idea, um, I will practice with some more, and um, yeah, really really liked it, so thank you so much, and yeah, see you guys again soon, thanks then, bye!